Hello. Boot camp time. Yeah. Boot camp time. <laughs> Boot camp time. Right, you can continue to nap. Whoop, whoop. Filming you? Because it's entertaining. Boop, boop. It's not really. Huh? It's not really. Kind of is. Because <laughs> it is. Um, I'll show you um, margarine. Um, oh, two margarine. Look. No, this is her shirt. It's got Mar on it, so everyone knows who she is. I bought two um, hummus for us and two for us. They just went shopping, clearly. The, um, thing in the margarine the blueberry muffins. Fruit. Bake, well, not dead. fried. Oh, that for Amber. Yeah. And there's a Kelly laying on the couch. Yeah. It's a Kelly in her natural habitat. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> she's, she's a sleepy panda, apparently. Is it Sleepy Panda? Is it Sleepy Panda? She caught herself a Sleepy Panda today, it's not just me. You don't want to do boopy? Nope. No, too bad you got to do boopy. What's up? So this is my push and pull workout. Um, I started off with the dumbbell bench press. I started off with uh, 10 kilos, moved into 12.5 kilos, then moved into 17 and a half. Um, I like doing ladders like this because it makes me feel like I'm getting a good pump in, I guess. Um, with dumbbells, just making sure that your elbows are nice and kind of at a 45 degree angle and not flared out to the side. And um, make sure that you get the full stretch, um, but don't let the scapulas retract at the top still keeping that tightness in your back uh, with the older dumbbells yeah then I moved on to uh, the Arnold press uh, with these you want to make sure your elbows face forward when you press up and then bring them all the way down before you turn them in um, at the front to complete the Arnold press uh, I always do them seated because I just find that you get a better shoulder through. I started off with um, 16 reps, moved into 14 and then finished off with 12 reps, um, going up in weight each time and having around about a 20 second rest in between each dumbbell. Then moved on to our triceps which were uh, tricep pull down. I started off with 16 then moved to 14, 12, 10, 8, um, so I moved down in two reps each set and I did 20 reps of the dumbbell skull crusher every set. The next day my triceps were killing me. With a tricep crusher you don't want to go straight out in front of you. You want to be on an angle so you get that full stretch of the tricep. Um, really targets the long head and my gosh my triceps are dead. <laughs> then I moved on to reverse fly with this. You want to lead with your elbow and squeeze your upper back. Um, and through you into your rhomboids. Um, try not to get your wrist higher than your elbow. Try and get your elbow nice and high. Um, don't worry too much about your uh, wrist. Then I moved on to blitz timing, which is three minutes on, two minutes off, two minutes on, one minute off, one minute on. This is my one minute on. I did a reverse grip. Um, and by the end of it, I don't think I could even lift up my arms. So it was really good. With a pull down, you want to try and pull towards your collarbone. Squeeze your back. Um, and try and pull through kind of the outer part of your arm and really pull those elbows right down towards the floor so you're not using your upper traps, um, mainly just the bottom half of your back. Then I moved on to bicep curls. Um, 
I started off with 20 kilos to 6 reps, moved on to 15 kilos to 12 reps, then moved on to 10 kilos and did 18, and I did 5 sets of those. Um, with these, you want to make sure that you do minimal swing, and you want to keep your elbows kind of locked into your side or pull them forward, don't pull them back. Um, you want to make sure that you squeeze your tricep at the bottom of the movement, um, and on a light weight, you just really want to get that pump going and get the blood right into it. Well, thanks for watching so far. Hope you enjoy the rest of the workout, and I'll see you in the next clip. One week out, well technically six days because it's Monday, but what I thought I'd do with my final, what do you call it, week, I guess final, your final five days, so Monday to Friday, is just do one massive vlog, but it won't be massive because I'm terrible at filming, but one big vlog <laughs> of all of the adventures leading into a show. So, first things first, breakfast. Uh, 45 grams of oats. And a scoop of protein. Um, has water. And a handful, two handfuls of berries for some flavour, because that shit is nasty. And we've got legs today. So, welcome. Six days out to nationals. Now I'm freaking out. So I'll get some posing in today, get a workout in today, get some more posing in. And life will be good. Mm. No, I need that. <laughs> Hi! Having some lunch. Head. What's that bagel? It's one full egg and one egg white. And it's been sitting here, got some study to do. That's about it. It's currently like one o'clock. In the afternoon, and watching a murder mystery because that's what you do in the middle of the day when it's really nice outside. It's currently the 16th of October. Uh, happy birthday, Annie Carolyn! It's her 50th today. The big five. Oh, that's crazy. Um, I've been a bit slack. I haven't really filmed much at all today, really. I'm currently in my heels. Just doing some posing in the garage. I've uh, been pretty good with my food today. I had oats and protein for breakfast. I had a protein bar. Though I did have a spring roll. Vegetarian spring roll. I had cheese and crackers. I have fajitas, mushroom, capsicum, and chicken with it in a fajita wrap. And I know I've eaten something else today, but I can't remember what it was. I think it was pasta. So it's a pretty good day of eating. I feel really good. My physique's looking pretty good. Um, yeah. That's how things are going so far. Sorry it's been a while since I've uploaded. Uh, there's going to be a mix of everything in here at the moment. Bit of Saturday, bit of Monday, bit of Tuesday, bit of, bit of everything. But um, thank you very much for watching.
that was a cute little wave. What you doing? Mm -hmm. Oh, what you reading about? Berries and game Oh, what are the berries? <laughs> Fun. Cool. Weird filming this way. Doesn't just doesn't feel right. Anyway, hello. It's the 17th of October, I just forgot what month it was just then. So we're currently Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Four days out. Um, yeah, today was awesome. I uh, had a back workout. I did... Uh, currently here at the library because we're about uni and studying I'm editing this vlog actually in progress and um, yeah. I haven't filmed any of my workouts so far but I'm gonna film tomorrow's one um, and uh, so there's some posing up here for you next but I'm getting quite slim I can see it in my cheeks my cheeks are slimming out so no more cardio until Saturday morning. <laughs> um, yeah. Testing tomorrow with Ben. Ooh. So we'll film that and be fun. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Kelly's saying that because she doesn't want to do it, but it's necessary. No, it's not necessary, but it is. So enjoy this little clip of posing next. And um See you tomorrow for some more exciting times ahead. I just can't wait for it to be over and have some energy back. I just want sleep all the time. And I don't need it all the time. Oh my gosh, it's only three days away. Ah, just about to head into the gym. Old Kermie's there. And um, got PT with Ben. I have a huge pimple on my face. Don't you just love it when you like have something like super important and like appearance means a lot. Like, you know, like a lot, a lot. And then like a few days before you wake up with a big pimple or a week before you wake up with a massive cold sore or like what's up with that like does it's just like the universe saying hey I just want to screw with you because I don't like that you uh, want to feel confident like thanks <sighs> anyway super excited about this I have not done cardio um, I found that I've been looking a little bit jaunt in the face, like my cheeks, I've lost weight in my face and I'm looking quite lean and I'm not supposed to look too lean so um, I've calmed down with the cardio a little bit, I didn't do any cardio this morning, um, I will not do any cardio tomorrow, I'll just work out and I'll do cardio Saturday morning as the last thing that I do before I get on the stage so yeah, that's my plan so far. So let's get into this workout with Ben because it's going to be a nasty thing. Go be nice, but I'm just saying, like real nasty. So, first things first. Two point four k run. I'm not looking forward to it. All right, let's get over and done with. This man is torturing us. I am not. Run. I am the nicest. Where does it say that distance? I am the nicest guy ever. It doesn't say the distance. It says run. <laughs> Two point four k. Ten minutes, seven fifty eight seconds. I'm pretty sure last time I got like 11 minutes on me, so improvement. I did back yesterday and I did 20 reps in 2 minutes, which is not so bad. 
Because there I got a really sore back. 55 push ups, 95 squats, and 2 minutes. Got crunches next. And 40 seconds. So, 20 seconds. That's the progress so far. Now I could film for me. So I'm doing it myself. Crunches. Here we go. We got this. Oh, two minutes of this shit. Oh, yeah. Hello! Oh. Welcome to the 19th of October. We're two days away from competing on next love! Nervous poop. Lots of them. I'm currently here on the massage chair because life is awesome. <laughs> and my girlfriend is over there staring at me like I'm a crazy woman. <laughs> because I am. I'm crazy. Ooh. You know, you know, like in the middle of your ribs, like in the, where your back is, like along your spine, and your ribs attached, like right along that this muscle there. This is why there. it comes to four minutes. It's like, oh, it's right in there, and it's really getting in that groove, and it's like, oh, it makes it hard to breathe in. Anyway, um, welcome. I've decided that because I completely forgot to film at breakfast, that I will do a Libby's Kitchen edition. So that's coming at you. In three, two, one, boom! What's up, guys? So we're here with Libby's Kitchen Edition. What? Okay. So what I'm gonna do is kind of show you how I track my uh, macros. Okay. I don't track them on my Fitness Pal. I don't um, count how many calories I'm having. I only track my grams. Okay. So how I do it is you need to have a scale be in any kind of like bodybuilding show or you want to lose weight or you want to track what you're eating you have to have a food scale so go out and buy yourself one you stick your container on top of it and then you turn it on because then it zeroes the container all right so what i'm going to make for you today is my usual kind of breakfast uh lunch whatever if i don't have breakfast i have for lunch uh, meal so we've got to start off 45 grams of oatmeal all right now that is 27 grams of carbs. I've written it on a lid because this is organic and it comes in a plastic bag from Whole Foods. Um, so I need to know what, what I'm eating, what I'm tracking. So 27 grams of carbs, 5 grams of protein, 3 grams of fat, and 1 gram of sugar. You don't have to count sugar. Um, I do because um, of what I'm doing and I need to make sure I'm only having around 45 to 50 grams of sugar. Alright, so that goes into there. Then 45 grams on the dot. Voila. Alright, then what I usually do is I usually soak it in a bit of water because no one likes dried oats. Alright, cool. Well, that's doing that. We move on to berries. Now, berries are a great way to get your fibre in, okay? Uh, they are a little high in sugar, but fantastic for fibre. So, I have 825 grams. What you do is zero out to your scale. Okay, chuck those in. 125 grams is a serving, 125 grams has 1.1 of protein, 0.4 grams of fat, and 15.7 grams of carbohydrates. Cool? After that, my 
peanut butter. This is a um, LSA blend, and it's all natural peanut butter. Uh, a serving is uh, 20 grams. So the total uh, protein is 5.3, the fat is 9.5, and, and the carbohydrates is 2.6. Sugar is 1 gram. Um, and I've got my whey protein here that has 24 grams of protein, 1.5 gram of fat, and 4 gram of carb. It's uh, 1 gram of sugar. Okay. So what I do is pop that in there, and then I chuck more water in there. I let the um, oats soak for a little bit more though. I chuck uh, one, some bunch of water in there, and then I zip it up. Okay, that's my meal. Now, how I track it, I'm going to show you. Come up nice and close for you. So what I do is I add all of the carbohydrates together, which equals 49.3. Then I add all the protein together, which is 35.4. Fats. Uh, 14 and 0.4 and then sugar is 12.2 okay and what I do is I take all of those numbers off my um, total okay uh, and then that's what I've got left and then for every meal I just minus what I'm having off until I get to zero at the end of the day if there's like one or two grams or um, you know between one to ten grams um, off it doesn't really matter whether it's even over or under. Um, I try not to stress too much. Uh, it's more just making sure I'm eating my protein. So if you're getting maybe 10 grams or uh, 12 grams underneath in your protein, you need to like eat a protein bar. Because if it makes you go over in your carbs or over in your fats, it doesn't really matter as long as you're hitting your protein because that's obviously the one that's going to build your muscle. Okay? Hashtag so gains. That's, <laughs> hashtag gains. That's how I... Uh, track my calories. Cool. Well, thanks very much for watching this video. I know it's been a, a bit of a long one, but uh, bear with me. And uh, this week is uh, this this week's prep. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've kind of tried to put a little bit of everything in it and what I've been up to. Um, but the next video will be the one of the pre comp and the comp, and that's basically it. But I want to thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out seeing nationals and seeing what happens, seeing the results and things like that and seeing me in my tail. Um, well, like, come and see you in your bikini. Oh, and bikini. That's it too. And I will see you at nationals. I'm so scared and afraid and it's exciting and I can't wait, but bye.